plant breeder, so my research is to try to develop new cultivars that are adapted to Texas that uh, of different types of melons that have good quality and good disease resistance and uh, and integrate those into the production systems that are here so in other words have melons that can be adaptable to to drip in plastic or to furrow or to whatever people are using to organic and so we're trying to do trials with as many different growers as possible with their diff diverse types of melons and find out which ones would be candidates for for cultivars in Texas because Texas is a lot different climate than you know Fresno California or Arizona where they grow melons so we're gonna we're gonna have different different issues to deal with okay. I've got to take a man this is just a, a new hybrid we made it looks pretty nice yeah very nice and it's also got a real small stem scar which is nice there's less the bigger that scar is the more chance for decay This is a hybrid honeydew we made for, for resistance to vine decline, which is a big problem. That one might be right. That's getting, yeah, that one's right. Okay. So uh, we're trying to in increase the flesh thickness on the honeydew. And now that one slipped on them yeah, also. Yeah, which is nice. This particular honeydew slips, which is, is nice because you know when to pick them. Not all honeydews slip. Right. This is an orange cassava melon. Okay, hold on. We cut some of these yesterday. We got them in the lab. Um, Real sweet and very productive. It's got a strong vine. This is the, the way the fruit is right here that yeah. you cut? Yeah. yeah. This is a variety. I can give you one. I've got one in the lab. This is a variety we're releasing called Pacal. How do you and spell it's that? P-A-C-A-L. It's a very productive, very vigorous vine. It makes these giant fruits. So I think it may, more application would be like for small. Right. You know, and so you how, do you, how do, can you market. tell this one is ready? Can you say this one is definitely not ready? It's real close. The ones yesterday slipped. So, you know. We'd probably leave it there for a few more days. Okay. But I've got. Pick a man. They're in the. This is the golden uh, Come take canary. This. Yeah. It's a beautiful melon. In Spain, this is one of the most popular melons. It's 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 a nice, uh, nice melon. Now is that is that about the size you want to harvest yeah, it at? Yeah. Yeah. And this one never really slips, Let's see but it's kind of hard to figure out exactly when to pick them sometimes. If you look for like the really, really golden yellow, no, no greenness, no whiteness, you know. See how this one's lighter? That's not, yeah, that, so that's this one's close. closer to that's getting really ready. Good. See how this one is? So how many, what, how would you advertise this? Is an 82 day, 84 day? Oh, this or? is a long, I mean, long, this is probably 90. Day? 90. This yeah, is a, okay. one of the latest maturing melons. Okay. But it's also got one of the best shelf life of any melon. Oh, okay. Extremely long shelf life. Wow. So it doesn't shrivel? No, it just, it, it'll have a long shelf. I've had one of these sitting on my desk for months and months at room temperature, just sitting there. Wow, okay. They have almost no ethylene production, so they don't degrade very quickly. And so this is the golden canary? Canary, What's yeah. the variety called? This is the one developed uh, at A&M. It's called Tam Canary, I think. Okay. This climate is not, with the moisture is not ideal. This, this melon really likes a desert. So it, it does better in a desert than here. So South Texas? Like no, valley. I mean no, like valley. Pecos. Oh, okay. You know, I mean a desert desert. But you know, they'll do okay. Some years they're, they're good here. It just depends on the, on the environment. About. Uh, I'm excited about that a couple of those honeydews that look pretty strong vine and have a nice heavy fruit, you know, um, because honeydews are really important in Texas. And I'm excited about that, that new orange cassava we're going to release because I think for a lot of different venues, especially small growers, farmers market, organic growers, because it's a real high sugar melon, it tastes good, it's easier. And I'm excited also about a couple of the new hybrid. You know, musk melon cantaloupe types that we have that have a good, uh, uh, a really nice quality fruit and disease resistant and high sugars. We've been measuring the sugars and even with all the rain that they're showing, you know, 12, 13 bricks. So pretty good. But, and the canary melon looks pretty good too. I'm a little excited about that. I, it, 
it has a great shelf life, and so I think for growers that would make it easier 